Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a three-year-old named Kylie and I also have a 13-month-old named Mia. So I have been doing this Montessori at home video series for quite some time now. And within this series, I also have a bit of a mini series going on where I've been putting out different videos for activity idea suggestions for different age ranges of babies. And I started at the newborn stage. So if you have a newborn baby and you're looking for ideas on what to do at home in a Montessori style with your baby, then I will leave some links down below to all the different videos so that you can start at the beginning. But I also have activity ideas videos for babies from three to six months old, six to nine months old, nine to 12 months old. And my daughter Mia, as I said, is 13 months old and she's actually almost 14 months old in a couple of days. So I figured it was high time to go ahead and put together yet another video in this mini series for you guys so that you have some ideas of things you can do with your little ones at home as well. So from one busy parent to another, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you Montessori activity ideas for babies between the ages of 12 and 15 months. So let's go ahead and start off with a couple of activity ideas that you may have already introduced to your baby a little bit earlier on, but I do want to point them out today to you in a different capacity. Now, if you thought your baby was busy before they hit 12 to 15 months, then get yourself ready, buckle up, because they are about to double or even triple their speed. Babies at this stage are incredibly focused on all of their motor skills. For many of them, they have either just started walking or maybe they've been walking for a little while already but they are on the move on those two little feet sometimes they're running around they're climbing all over everything and in addition to all of those big gross motor movements they're also really starting to focus in on what it is that they can do with these magical hands and fingers so those activities that you've already introduced to your baby now is the time that they're really going to start to work on truly mastering the purpose of the activity as opposed to just exploring it and kind of figuring out what the possibilities were. For example, if you've already introduced your baby to a large knobbed multi-shaped puzzle, in the past you might have seen them kind of haphazardly pulling the pieces out and maybe trying to fit them back in, but now's the time that you're going to see your baby really understanding that that puzzle piece needs to fit into that hole. And you're going to see a lot more accurate movements and efforts into getting the piece into the right spot. The same goes for musical instruments. A baby who maybe picked up random instruments and shook them or tapped them on the ground just to see what they would do in the past is now actively using the instruments correctly, even instruments that have more than one piece that go together. For any babies who are learning how to walk during this time frame, a walker wagon is an essential piece of equipment that all babies love to have and it really helps them to work on those gross motor skills to help them master independent walking. And if you have not yet introduce a language basket to your baby, which I have mentioned before in other videos. It's just a basket filled with either real objects that are all in the same category. For example, kitchen utensils, or it can be a basket containing small figurines of things like animals or cars or plants, what have you. If you have not yet introduced one of these language baskets to your baby, now would be the time to do so. Because between the ages of 12 and 15 months, babies have a language explosion. They are really beginning to to truly understand, that's their perceptive language, understand what it is that you're saying when you're having a conversation with him or her. And then this is also the time where for a lot of babies, they begin to start uttering their very first words and that's their expressive language. So having a language basket handy is a great way, hands-on, to teach them different types of vocabulary that you might not use in your normal everyday conversation. This is also a great time to begin playing with a Montessori three period lesson. If you've never heard of a three period lesson before, Basically, the first period of a three period lesson in teaching a child vocabulary is just naming the objects for them. So I'm willing to bet that many of you at this point have already been doing that naturally. And that happens when your child picks up something out of the language basket, for example, a cow, and they pick it up and you say, that's a cow. 
that is period one. So if you've already been doing that successfully and you're starting to notice that it almost seems like your baby knows what some of the names of the objects are that you've been talking about, this is where you can start to play around with potentially moving into period two with your baby. And period two is where you ask your child to show you or point to one of the objects that you've named without telling them which one it is. So if you've got the basket in front of you and it does have the farm animals in it, you can look at it and say, can you show me the cow? or can you point to the cow? And your baby, if they do truly understand what that word means, they should very accurately be able to reach out and pick up the cow with no problem and maybe even show it to you. Now, if you do experiment a little bit with period two with your baby in the three period lesson, and you say, okay, show me the cow, or can you point to the cow? And your baby chooses the wrong animal in the basket or the wrong object, whatever your category is. It's important that you don't correct them or tell them that they're wrong directly. You don't want to make them feel shameful or silly for choosing the wrong thing because after all, they are just learning these words and you want them to get off to a good start where they feel good about it. So if you say to your child, can you show me the cow? And they pick up the horse instead, for example. You would say to them, that's the horse. Can you show me the cow and give them another chance to get it right? If they happen to choose incorrectly yet another time after that, I would not push the issue at that point. I would simply just say, yes, you're holding the pig or whatever the animal was that they picked up and just make a mental note for myself to reteach using period one, the name cow next time. So that would be period two of a Montessori three period lesson. And this is really a great age to begin experimenting with that. Your baby is most likely not ready for the third period of a three period lesson yet, which is basically like the testing or quizzing phase where you'll point to something and just say, what is this? And then they have to say cow back to you. So because this is the time that most babies are really only starting to speak their first words, chances are that that word in particular is not quite yet in their vocabulary. So you wanna wait until you know that it is before you move on to that stage. A good rule of thumb for this is to not move on to period three at all, unless you are almost almost 100% confident without a shadow of a doubt that your baby knows that word and that they're probably not going to get it wrong if you ask them because you always want to set them up for success. Okay, so the rest of the activities that I'm about to share with you are all new activities that we have not talked about before and they are all wonderful things that 12 to 15 month olds will be super interested in doing. You will notice that a good chunk of these activities are practical life activities because this is a great time to start introducing those to your child. At 12 to 15 months, they are very interested in what it is that you are doing around the house. And anytime you notice that your child is showing an interest or they're actually attempting to involve themselves in some capacity, that is your cue to invite them. Would you like to help me unload the dishwasher or whatever the task is and allow them to do whatever it is that they can do and then thank them for their help. Yes, the task is going to take a lot longer than it would if you just did it by yourself. Yourself. Yes, there's a really good chance that it's going to end up being a lot messier than if you had just done it by yourself, but that is not the point. The point is inviting your child and allowing them to feel like a valued contributing member of your family. It's important to make the distinction that these are not chores that you are assigning to your little 12 month old, okay? These are entirely voluntary. So if you invite your child because they look like they're interested in what you're doing and they decide that they're after all maybe not that interested and they wander away, that's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. And that I would say is totally developmentally appropriate at this age. So again, a good chunk of these activities are going to center around introducing practical life tasks to your child as they show interest. But there are also several in there that cater to those needs for a gross motor movement as well as mastering those fine motor skills skills.
It is important to remember as you introduce these activities to your child, especially if it's their very first introduction to it, to not expect perfection. They are learning and some of these activities may be appropriate for your baby right at that 12 month mark. You might notice just by observing them that they seem ready for it genuinely, but there are going to be lots of babies out there and yours might be one of them who might need a little bit of extra time before they're ready for the activity that you're trying to show them. So that might mean that you introduce it and it's a complete flop, they don't know what they're doing and it's just a complete fail as far as you're concerned. That's your cue that they're not ready. And you can put the activity away and then maybe reintroduce it in a couple of weeks because as we all know, babies are developing at lightning speed. So they might actually be ready in a couple of weeks where they aren't today. And I say all this because I do receive lots of messages from very concerned parents who have children who are the same age as mine or they have a child that's the same age as some other person that they follow on Instagram or YouTube and they're wondering why their child is not at the same level yet and I urge you please do not compare your child to any other child on the planet your baby is his or her own person they are on their own developmental trajectory and it is our role as their parent to respect that and just remember that in a Montessori environment you're supposed to follow your child when all else fails. If you are doing that alone, you can't possibly go wrong because you're observing 
what it is that they're interested in. You're looking to see what different types of skills they're working toward mastering. And if you can provide activities that cater to those things, then your child is going to be getting exactly what he or she needs. As disappointing as it might be sometime, especially if we've put a lot of thought and effort into creating this beautifully, aesthetically pleasing activity for our child to do, if they are simply not interested in it, or if they're not ready for it yet, then there is nothing that you can really do to force your child or make your child or even encourage your child to be interested in doing that activity in that moment. My best advice usually in those situations is just time and patience. And there are definitely going to be a few activities out there that no matter how much time you give your child, they're never going to be interested in it. And that is okay. So those are all of my Montessori activity ideas for babies between the ages of 12 and 15 months. I will be sure to put links in the description box down below to as many of the items or toys and activities as I can find in case you are interested in checking out one of them. If you are looking for activity ideas for babies who are perhaps younger than 12 months or older than 12 months, I have a whole bunch of videos already that you can check out on all of the different age ranges. I will leave links to each of those videos in the description box down below. And if you are new to my channel, I did want to let you know this video is part of a much larger series called Montessori at Home, which is aimed at providing practical tips and advice for busy parents like you and I for implementing Montessori philosophies at home with your children. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in learning more about, then you might consider subscribing to my channel. This way you don't miss a new video because I do upload a new one just like this one every single week. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye.